Um, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Collective Guidance Tarot. I hope that uh, you are all doing well and that you are safe wherever you are. So in today's reading, we are going to look at how Megan feels about um, Kate's uh, 40th birthday, the pictures that were released for Kate's uh, 40th birthday and the attention that Kate uh, received. So yeah, thank you all for tuning in. If my voice uh, sounds a little bit weird, it's because I just recovered from a sinus infection and yeah, but I'm fine. It's just that my voice is still a little bit weird, but yeah, I'm okay. So yeah, let us begin. Thank you all for tuning in. Okay, immediately uh, conflict, competition, drama. Okay, so immediately the cards are saying that uh, she does not see, um, she does not, yeah, see, she does not feel, yeah, good about, um, you know, how the attention that Kate was receiving, you know, she feels like she has to constant, she has, she has to constantly battle between, um, you know, the attention, you know, she has to, you know, um, crave that attention kate doesn't have to do that whatever she does she doesn't even have to try whatever she does she always gets um positive attention uh, i don't know if you guys remember when kate was playing the piano people were not expecting that it's not like she intentionally she was putting out um news um news articles every day saying oh yeah i can play the piano it's not like she was broadcasting to the world that she can play the piano it was something that was unexpected and because of that she feels like she has to be in constant competition with Kate because this is a card that um, talks about competition as you can see this is someone that is on a battle but the other two people at the back are not even minding him they they've dropped their swords they're walking away from the conflict but this person is still in conflict with uh, these two people so this energy tells me that she will always be in conflict with um, the royal family she will always be in conflict with Kate because that is um, in her nature she she likes drama so yeah she doesn't feel so good about it um, the king of swords yeah <laughs> with um the king of swords i'm getting the energy that yeah she is she's she's in this um queen energy king energy sorry which is um a stoic cold um this person likes drama also the king of um swords is someone that is a narcissist because they're so cold and stoic which is also highlighting um uh, this five of um swords energy so she is in this energy of conflict she sees kate um as you know someone that she has to constantly compete with because kate is always getting the attention you know kate is always receiving um you know positive feedback she doesn't even have to try and also the king of um pentacles like i've already said this is not a good energy because this is someone that you know they are smart but they use their intellect for the wrong things so they use their intellect to plot negative things evil things which makes sense because as you can see um this person is in battle with these two people that have their bags turned on on him it's like you know that energy of um stabbing one's back to someone that is smart but they don't use it in the right way. They use their intellect for evil. They manipulate. And they also think that um, they are above other people. They are better than others. So in her mind, she thinks that she's better than Kate. Why is she getting the attention that I'm supposed to be getting? Because I'm better than her. But the public does not... We don't think that uh, she's better than Kate. And also, this is <clears throat> someone that takes advantage of others. She uses people. So, yeah. It's not good. Okay, the, the four of uh, cups. So, Spirit is saying that what she's failing to realize is that she could have 
you know, gotten the same cub as Cade. But then she refused because she had her sights on these three cubs. The cub that the, the royal family was giving to her, it was not enough because she had her sights on these three cubs, failing to realize that she 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 doesn't know this person doesn't know what's in these cups she she doesn't know if what is in these three cups is, is positive so spirit is saying that yeah we gave her um the cup she could have gotten the same you know love people could have adored her but what she felt she's greedy because she was greedy she wanted more and because she wanted more, she failed to realize that this cup had more weight than these three cups that she was looking at. I hope I'm making sense. So, yeah. So, Spirit, um, it's really hot. Yeah, Spirit is saying that she could have received victory if only she had taken this cup that Spirit had for her. Because this cup it had more value than these three cups and also these three cups are on the ground so which tells me that they're part of you know the earthly realm and this cup it comes from the divine i don't know if you guys can see like you can't see a, a figure here it comes from the divine these three cups are part of the world so she didn't choose choose this gift that could have changed her life if she had stayed in the, the royal family if she had followed um royal protocol if she had been disciplined left this cold energy left this plotting she could have had the same thing she could have had victory because the the six of ones is a victory card this is someone that just uh, came back from a battle and their victory it's a rejoice you know, people are rejoicing because this person just came back from victory. She could have had the same um, positivity if only she had taken this cup that had more weight than these three cups. So, yeah, let's see what Spirit says. What's happening? Yeah, the Ace of Cups in reverse, exactly. This card, this cup was sent by the Divine. I don't know if you guys can see the same hand, but it's coming out in reverse. Why? Because she refused this cup. This is emotional abundance. It comes from the Divine, that equal give and take. I don't care what anyone says, but the royal family actually wanted to work with her they wanted to be fair with her but then she refused this cup this cup from the divine if you guys can see it's the same hand you know it was literally the biggest cup that she could have ever received in her life but she didn't want that because of greed this is someone that is also greedy and selfish she chose these cups that didn't have more value this cup had more she could have been someone that made an impact on on history because yeah she is she is actually smart and even you know even like her, her public speaking skills she is smart like we can't say you know she's stupid <laughs> in as much as yeah she does stupid things she's not a stupid person even when um she speaks, she has that ability to draw people in. So Spirit is saying that if only she had listened, if only she had put her thoughts down, followed authority, you know, she would have achieved more. She would have had a greater impact. People would have liked her more. You know, she would have, um, you know, represented, like, you know, you know mixed race people because megan does not represent black people megan is a mixed race person um the queen of swords <laughs> yeah misjudgment because when the king of the queen of swords comes out in the upright to someone that is smart very strategic but it's coming out um in reverse so yeah she she missed a, a big opportunity because you know, she chose the wrong cards. She wanted more. So, yeah, then also the Queen of <laughs> Swords, when she comes out in reverse, is also someone that is, 
jealous, it's jealousy, lack of judgment, a very lonely person, someone that likes to hurt others. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to say this, but this is also someone that is infant, like infer, infertile, like someone that can have um babies and i think one of she's also jealous of the she's also jealous of the fact that you know um kate has this family she, not only is she admired by her kids um the royal family she's also admired by um you know the general public it's not only people in the uk that admire um kate it's people around the world people actually care more about Kate than her and the fans that Megan have are, are very toxic people. If you see the people that follow her, her fans are really really toxic individuals. So yeah, um, the eight of ones. So yeah, um, <laughs> she's very lonely. I was not expecting that, but it makes sense because um, she likes, you know, cutting people out of her life and. Now that they've um separated themselves from everyone, it makes sense why you know she would come out as um the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's really a lonely person, so she feels like um <laughs> she she doesn't have that ability to you know stay on top of things. She doesn't have that grip, you know that grip that Kate has. Kate doesn't have to announce anything. She does not have to publish a bunch of articles. She didn't even have to say, yeah, I can play the piano. She just came out, played the piano, and people fell in love with it. And also this card represents social media, but then it's coming out in reverse, which is um, social media as a burden. She she sees um social media as a burden because every time she clicks on social media, she finds people like me, <laughs> you know, people calling out her, her bullshit, people calling out the crap that she does. So she sees social media as a burden. At some point, she did actually enjoy um being on social media, and also since this is a um a communication card, like social media. This is also gossip, which goes back to a uh, conflict, you know, this conflict card. So, yeah, she, she, she's lonely. She, it's like every time when Kate does something positive, it's that sudden realization that, yeah, I'm lonely, I'm bored, um, you know, I don't have that stark quality. Yeah, the vulture. <laughs> yeah, the vulture is, um, taking advantage of others using the vulture is smart using your intellect for the wrong stuff doing evil taking advantage of others using others gossiping starting drama cooking up drama and also i don't know what um happened with william and the whole cheating scandal but immediately when i saw that uh, william was trending the first thing that came to my mind was like you know this is um What's what's the word? Like an attack. Um, what's what's the correct term? Like a scheme to um. You know to to sort of um cause issues and with uh, William and Kate, it was actually planned. Yeah, it's like a, a you know a, a personal attack, something scheme that please. Uh, tell me the exact word i have it but i'm losing it yeah vulture um takes advantage of others doesn't care about others is smart but uses um their intellect for evil taking advantage of others selfish greedy gossips yeah the peacock narcissist um all that i'm always at the top yeah, we know that the peacock also likes to brag. She's always bragging about, you know, herself, her paying her tuition, which she never did. <laughs> you know, her, like, um, being an actress, like, being the best uh, actress. But we know that's not true. Basically, uh, blowing her, her, her own, um, she's always on a high horse, yeah. 
So um yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just going to pull um the the archetypes and see what archetype comes out. Yeah, it's really sad. Because this whole habit of um yeah, the orphan, um, she has a lot of <laughs> she has a lot of um childhood trauma a lot of childhood wounds um you know like she was raised by her dad so there's this feeling of you know she always felt not being first place in her mother's life and because of that this energy followed her throughout her life if you look at her life <laughs> this is like the energy that follows her she's never first if you look at suits we know the suits interviews she's never first there's always someone that you know is you know more of a bigger star than her someone that gets more attention she's always the extra even with the royal family she was the extra she always had to be behind someone this energy had followed follows her through why because she never healed um you know her childhood trauma she never healed the issues that she had she never healed that abandonment yeah yeah that word she never healed that and because of that that's the energy that follows her everywhere you know she's always she's never the star even if if you look at um the invictus games like when they go to all these events she's never the star the stars are you know the the soldiers that got injured those are the stars of you know the invictus game she's never the star when she went to um uh, Serena Williams um match when Serena Williams was playing she was not the star she thought that she was going to you know be the star of the show but she wasn't the star was I hope I'm making sense that's also a reason why she she left the family because it it's a wound that she has it she always gets triggered because she's always second best yeah thank you all for watching uh, I hope that you enjoyed the reading please like Please um subscribe and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Thank you guys.